let's learn some fundamental building blocks of playing jazz. The triad. The triad is a three note chord. One, three, five. That's scale degrees of a major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five. Different key. Notice the way I'm fingering it on the bass. I'm using one finger per fret. That'll help you identify real quickly where these are. One, three, five. One, three, five. Now I want to suggest that we practice this one, three, five with a very specific motion. I know the fingering and learning the one, three, five, that's simple. You could even do it like this, no problem. But let's work on it with a technique that we're going to use or that will develop our chops so we can use them when we're playing jazz whether it be a bass line or a solo. Let's use the cycle of fourths. One, two, three, four. That's C up to F. So let's play a triad on C. Then let's go up a fourth on the same string. One, two, three, four is a B flat. Let's go to B flat. Up a fourth. Up a fourth. Go up a fourth. Technically, we're going down an octave. Sorry. And back to C. Let me uh, let us play this. I'm going to speak them to you. Key of C. One, three, five. F. One, three, five. B flat. One, three, five. E flat. A flat. D flat, G flat, key of B, key of E, A, D, G, and back to C. If you'll practice those in time, you will uh, develop a physical feel for the triad, which is, in, in, you know, jazz is all about chords. This is the fundamental chords. Of course, jazz has sevenths and ninths and elevenths, but we'll get to that. First of all, we want to work on the triads. As a walking bass player, walking bass lines, man, you're using the triads constantly. And you'd be surprised even in jazz soloists, sophisticated solos, how often they're using the triad. So you want to practice this in time. That's the key. I've worked with many students who say, oh, I know that. Well, if you can't play it, you don't really know it. So let's try it like this. A one, two, a three, a four. Now you notice I'm jumping around. I'm wanting to learn where my triads are all over the bass. Here's a C triad. Here's a C triad. Here's a C triad. Mm, here's a C triad. Now I don't have higher notes than this, so I can't play a higher one. You want to work with a systematic approach. Try starting every triad on the A string. Then start every triad on the G, uh, E string. How about starting every triad on the D string? Then you can work them out where they're really close. You'll quickly find out they're, they're, they're real close like this. Sure. Get those triads solid. Get a little metronome or a little drum machine, ching, 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 and work those major triads. If you learn your triads, I mean perfectly well in time all over the base, they'll pay big dividends when you start to play jazz.